You know, I'm curious, will people continue picking the iPhone SE when that Pixel 4a comes after the new rumors? Because yeah, we have some sample images of the Google Pixel 4a to show that it might actually be worth the wait. A new leak shows us the main features that are coming to the Apple Watch Series 6 this year, and more leaks of the OnePlus Z.2 wood internals are coming into the final product. I'm Jaime Rivera, and a happy Friday to everyone that's celebrating or joining me in actually celebrating from home as that's what we're all doing. This is Pocket Now Daily sponsored by MediaTek. Stick around to learn why you should pick a MediaTek product for your next purchase. The official news today begin with deals, and yes, we have a ton, we have a full list, but let's begin with the fact that in our iPhone SE review, there still is a promotion for Visible where you can pretty much get the iPhone SE for 184 bucks if you apply. Obviously, I do know that it is sold out. I did hear that some units came back, but I do know that they will be fully back in throttle as of next week. But again, watch the review and more details on how you can take advantage of it are there. In addition to that, let's talk Galaxy S10 Plus and Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which are coming bundled with the AKG N700NC headphones. There's a catch though, the S10 Plus is currently $250 in discount, but that's for the 512 gigabyte variant, meaning that one is 1,350 bucks with the headphones. The Note 10 Plus is also $250 off, but you only get the 256 gigabyte variant along with the headphones, so that's 1,200 bucks. The new Galaxy Buds Plus are also $25 off, leaving them at $135 shipped. And moving on to Apple, the Mac Mini is $200 off, right now, leaving the i3 8 gigs of RAM variant available for $9.99. We also have deals for Marshall speakers and more, all in the list in the description, in addition to the review of the iPhone SE. Now, since we're talking Galaxy Buds, here's the thing, I they're good. Their battery life is legendary and I've proven it. They are literally all day earbuds. But there's a problem, they miss noise canceling. I wish they had it. And uh, well, it seems that that's gonna change very soon with the rumors of the Galaxy Buds X. It seems that these are designed to compete against the AirPods Pro and they have an interesting design that uh, looks like a jelly bean. They were just trademarked at the US Patent Office and they're set to be priced around $140. So this is what makes them special because they seem to measure 28 millimeters long, 13 millimeters wide and offer active noise cancellation. We're expecting them with the Galaxy Fold 2 and Galaxy Note 20, but again, what makes them special is that if they are priced at 140 bucks and include A and C, oh, Samsung's gonna kill it right there, but we'll see. Now, obviously, one of the biggest concerns with COVID-19 right now is that a lot of people are more concerned about a lot of things other than buying a new phone. And uh, we just got the numbers of exactly how much the impact is. According to the IDC, Q1 of 2020 reported 11.7 decline year over year, which is the largest ever. And then catalysts are, on the other hand, reporting that the market decline is actually 13%. IDC estimates that a total of 275.8 million smartphones were shipped, while catalysts is reporting 200 172 million. Samsung leads the way, followed by Huawei and then Apple. However, companies are expecting the Q2 of 2020 is going to be the peak of the coronavirus situation. And so, well, we should expect for things to normalize. But then if you look at the guidance provided by companies like Apple during their quarter results call, I mean, Tim Cook provided zero guidance, zero predictions. It was like, we don't know. <laughs> and I get it. We don't know what's going to happen. So, Let's stay tuned. Obviously, there are more important things right now to deal with. Now let's talk OnePlus Z. For the longest time, we've been covering the rumors of this product coming. It's gonna be affordable. It'll bring 5G. It'll bring a MediaTek Dimensity 1000 chip. We heard. Apparently, that's not going to be the case, or at least there won't be just one variant. Wait, thing is, we have some new tweets that show us the schematics of the phone with a 5G logo to the side and a 765 chip from Qualcomm instead of the rumors of that Dimensity 1000 from MediaTek. Obviously, we can't really confirm what we're getting, but we're hearing now rumors that we won't get this phone until July. Uh, that's kind of vague, but we'll keep you posted. Now let's move the spotlight over to Apple Watch territory as we've been covering for a bit what we at least want or expect to hear or get from the new Apple Watch Series 6. Now we have a new leak that uh, shows us what we're supposed to be expecting as the main features of the watch. A tweet claims that the changes are going to be sleep tracking, longer battery life, a pulse oximeter, and an S6 chip in addition to mental health 
abnormality detection. Obviously, we're expecting for more information to emerge as soon as we have the next generation of watchOS, which should be announced along with the next generation of iOS at WWDC, so stay tuned. And friends, before we get to the hottest news today, in addition to today's question, here's a word from our sponsor, MediaTek. Did you know that its technology powers the popular Sony WF-1000X Mark III's? These were the first true wireless earbuds to feature true active noise cancellation. 24-bit audio signal processing also makes these one of my favorites for sound quality. We have a battery life of up to 24 hours with the carrying case and full integration at a tap with the Google Assistant and even Amazon's Alexa Assistant. Follow the first link in the description to find these buds right now on Amazon. And in the second one, you can learn more as to why brands like Sony trust MediaTek. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Google Pixel 4. I mean, I thought that we were gonna get this phone with the Pixel Buds. No, we did not. We're still waiting, and I wonder if it has to do with the impact of the iPhone SE. I mean, think about it. If there is a time when Google needs to make a statement of a phone, it is right now. And uh, one of these has to be that the phone has to bring a great camera. Well, we have some new camera samples of this device that just emerged on Twitter, reportedly, showing the images against a Redmi Note 7. The Pixel 4a is supposed to bring a single 12 megapixel shooter versus the Redmi Note 7, which brings a 48 megapixel shooter. The images clearly show that the Pixel 4a just destroys the Redmi in both pictures and especially in low light samples. And now we've got the new rumors that we should be expecting that Pixel 4a within the next couple of weeks. So let us know in the comments down below, even if you're an Android or an iOS user, if you had to pick, if both these phones were priced at, uh, you know, $399, assuming. I hope that Google prices it a little less. But if they both cost $399, which one would you pick? The Pixel, which will most likely be made of plastic and bring not the same 850 or 865 something processor, or the iPhone SE, which yes, brings a design that's three years old, but brings Apple's latest hardware internals. In my case, it's a tough one. And so far, if I had to judge by how the Pixel 3a aged, I would totally pick the iPhone, but that's just me. We would love to know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you wanna get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me stay at home as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.